Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, told you the other day I, I was uh, on another video that I had broken down an ESC or I was going to break down an ESC and use some of the components to uh, imitate and uh, kind of make rig some of the uh, detail in a, in a, can in a cockpit. Uh, take a bait, pretty much a plain basic cockpit with just the pilot and a stick on dashboard uh, for instrumentation in there. It's a nice airplane and a little bit of scale in there might look a little bit nice. We can uh, polish up this plastic when we get the thing off too and make it a lot more clear. But uh, I thought maybe I'd show you uh, how I was going to go about doing this. And then uh, just just a, a little tip for some of you guys out there that like to put a little scale or just for the little hobby of something to do with your airplanes if you're not flying them. Uh, so hold tight for a second and uh, we'll get this going. I'm going to peel the canopy off of here and then we're going to start putting some components in that I'm going to be taking off of the, the boards. Okay, see how it looks. Hold tight. And carefully peel. I usually use an X-Acto blade, but this one's not on there that securely anyway. And I chose this first too because I haven't done that many of these. And this was kind of a test to see how it was going to look before I did to a more expensive plane. Uh, but usually I'll get under there. If, if it's tight fitting, we'll go with a nice scalpel and uh, get under there and do this. And it gets through the, the glue and everything, and you can usually just inch it along and kind of pry it up a little bit, move it up a little bit, kind of. You don't want to pry too much on the, so you kind of give just a little upward pressure. Might slice through a little bit of the glue, a little upward pressure. And usually these things will come up off pretty easy because they're just on there with a rubber cement. And I don't like to use my fingernails because I always end up gouging my, my foam. So this comes up off pretty easily. As you see inside there, there's, there's really nothing. Uh, you know, and most, most people don't really give a hoot. They just want to fly the airplane or they hang it on the wall. It looks great enough as it is. I like to have a little bit of fun with some of these. And I'm planning on doing this like with the Tiger Cat. So this is a test run for me and see what I want to do and maybe what ideas I come up with as I'm going and then possibly apply that to that plane. So uh, we start off with some of the capacitors here. And I figure I could paint this red. This might make a nice little fire extinguisher or something in there. Okay, type of thing. Uh, I've got a little coil here that's part of the uh, winding that's in the ESC. Not sure exactly what it's for, but it's a, a little coil. Uh, could be something in here that looks electrical. A uh, radio thing, perhaps. Something like that, right? And then uh, pulled off some of these, these little guys off of the boards, and we're going to put these in different positions. Now, of course, I'm going to tack these down. I'm going to position them where I want them uh, to make them look right. But you get kind of the idea that you can go with some of these little components here, and they look kind of like something that you're, you know, something resembling instrumentation, you know, or little modules or, you know, electronic things that you might find on an aircraft. You know, who knows what all that stuff is, little black boxes and stuff like that, right? But uh, i try to get this thing positioned right. I should use tweezers. That would be easier, wouldn't it? There we go. I got everything right here. It's just not real organized today. But yeah, with careful placement and a little bit of just a, a dab of glue under each component, you can kind of make things look kind of like uh, like they like like it's really something, you know. And these little wires could be unwound and then run down the fuselage, or run down the inside of the cockpit. You see, they wind wind that way so that you can actually do that. And that wire can run right down. Look like, look like it's part of the wiring for something here. So you get the idea. Give you a better angle there, you know, how that could look. And we start putting maybe some more components there. And you know, just be a little creative. Here's a little bridge connector. You know, this might be something that you'd lay across like this and turn it over maybe here. Oh, or drop it on the floor. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to find that or I'll find it in my foot later, right? But, so you guys, you can be putting this stuff in here. Uh, even as far as, like, the dash instrumentation, uh, you could always build a little depth to it by putting a couple of these components maybe just over it. Uh, let's borrow this one here. You know, give you an idea. If you put a few things around and inside those pictures, you know, the, that print, it will look like 3D at least. It'll look like something. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one up and then uh, come back and you get to see the finished product, okay? 
but uh, it's just food for thought here or something, guys. I mean, you see things like this up on top of the dams, you know, the things, in, the planes, and, uh, you know, a bomb sites, that type of thing. Uh, you can just paint this to, to whatever color you want to match it to look like a little bomb site, and, you know, you got something to stick up there. Not to mention, some of them have a, a little bit of weight to them, so you may need a little shift in your center of gravity that could even help. You think about it, it is an ESC, and when you combine them all together, it does weigh up. Okay, so these little components, although they don't weigh much at all, especially when you separate them from the board, because that's where most of the solder and most of the heavy stuff is at. These, oops, <laughs> these actually don't weigh anything. You see why I'm test running here? I already stabbed my cockpit. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together and I'll show you guys the finished product and see if you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Hold tight. All right, guys, uh, just did a few of them here. I didn't do the dash or the instrumentation panel and stuff yet, but just to give you an idea of what this could kind of kind of look like, and I polished up the, uh, the dome here a little bit so that you can see through it. You'll be able to see through it a little bit better. But uh, it does give a, a decent, reasonable uh, scale appearance here. Like, okay, but uh, in, in there, it kind of looks kind of neat, I think. Got a little fire extinguisher in their back and used the other capacitor up there for a, a bomb site. And uh, it just gives a little extra dimension, and I think it looked, uh, I think it looks kind of neat for the 10 minutes that it took to do. Uh, you know, it was, I think it's worth it. So it's just cool. It's a particular, particular flavor. Everybody likes their own. Let's see, when we got that sun going here, get a little better shot here. See, but yeah, guys, it was uh, a real quick, simple, easy thing to do. Just disassemble uh, the uh, an ESC, yeah, something, something fried. Save the components, just kind of place them around in there a little bit, and you get a little bit of better look to it. And actually, it looks better. That looks a little false, but when you put the window back over it, the canopy over back over it, uh, it doesn't look half bad. All right, guys, I hope you like this, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Obviously, I'm bored. It's still cold, still nasty outside, so we're indoors again. Ciao for now.